Prime Minister calls for scope of Petra Caribe to be broadened. Simon Bolivar Cultural Center officially opened. And government continues to support Jamaican athletes. This is Jamaica House Weekly. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller is calling for the scope of the Petra Caribe Agreement to be broadened to focus on critical issues facing the region. The future of the Petra Caribe Agreement is infused with hope and even greater possibilities. The establishment of the Petra Caribe Economic Zone and the Plan of Action for Hunger Eradication and Poverty are two major initiatives currently underway that are poised to strengthen the economic, cultural, social, and productive foundations of partner countries. Under the Petra Caribe Agreement, which was implemented in 2005, Venezuela supplies member countries with oil on preferential conditions. The Petra Caribe Development Fund, which oversees the agreement, ensures that money is available to pay Venezuela when the oil debt payments are due. The fund later invests in a number of projects to support economic growth. It has made major contributions to improving the socio-economic development of states through investments totaling just under four billion US dollars in 432 social projects to foster improvements in the standard of living of our people. The Prime Minister was speaking at the summit and the plenary session in Montego Bay to mark the 10th anniversary of the Petra Caribe Agreement. And after completing the Montego Bay leg of the Petra Caribe anniversary celebrations, the Prime Minister journeyed to Kingston to mark another aspect of foreign relations. Mrs. Simpson Miller and the Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro participated in a wreath laying ceremony at the statue of Simon Bolivar at the National Hero Circle. She later journeyed to North Parade in downtown Kingston to officially open the Simon Bolivar Cultural Center. The aim of the center is to develop programs to better understand the Latin American culture. It will also recognize the role of Simon Bolivar and promote principles of unity as outlined in Simon Bolivar's Carta de Amica. The Jamaica letter also provides important lessons in history and sets out clearly Bolivar's vision of a free, independent, new world uniting the countries of Latin America. The Simon Bolivar Cultural Center was funded by the Venezuelan government and the Petra Caribe Development Fund. It was constructed by the Urban Development Corporation and will be managed by the Institute of Jamaica. The Sport Ministry, in tandem with other stakeholders, continues to implement key aspects of the national sports policy. Requests for proposals have already been issued to provide insurance coverage for about 1,500 athletes across sporting disciplines. We are awaiting favorable responses and I am eagerly awaiting the day when I can hand the first athlete his or her health insurance card. This will provide support to our national athletes and allow them to receive the requisite health screening as well as preventative and remedial health care. The minister was speaking at the press launch to open nominations for the 11th annual Courtney Walsh Award for Excellence. The award seeks to recognize exemplary qualities in Jamaican athletes who represent the country at a senior level. All members of this honorable house, join me in extending best wishes to our young athletes who are about to take part in the 2015 Commonwealth Youth Games in Samoa from September 5 to 12. During that statement to Parliament last week, the Prime Minister also paid tribute to the senior athletes who competed at the recently concluded IAAF World Championships. She also praised the contribution of athletes in other sporting disciplines who have represented Jamaica in various competitions since the start of the year. Meanwhile, Minister Without Portfolio Natalie Nita Headley voiced support for the Reggae Boys as they started their campaign to the 2018 World Cup. The Reggae Boys lost 2-3 to Nicaragua at the National Stadium Friday night. And finally, the Prime Minister sought to strengthen Jamaica's relationship with the United Kingdom during a meeting with British Minister for the Caribbean Grant Shaps. Mrs. Simpson Miller thanked the British government for supporting Jamaica's fight against crime and drugs. Both parties also pledged to continue cooperation in areas of investment and bilateral trade. The Prime Minister also moved to strengthen Jamaica-Caribbean relations 
through a courtesy call with His Excellency Alfonso Monera, Secretary General of the Association of Caribbean States. And that's it for this week's edition of Jamaica House Weekly. Join us next week for the latest from the Office of the Prime Minister.